Hello, Scorpio, sun, moon, and rising. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to the month of November 2022. Yeah. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, we could be speaking to a cross watcher here. That is a perfectly, perfectly um, possible. <laughs> that is in entirely possible. That's what I was trying to say. So um, regardless as to whoever, however this plays out for you, if, if I'm talking to you, Scorpio, or if the roles fit in your life reversed, take it as it resonates. Yes. Um, this is also a timeless reading, even though this is coming through for the month of November of 2022. That doesn't mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at this time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment. Yeah. Um, I am available for personal readings. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, please make sure to check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up um, and also you do have an option to get some discounts on your personal readings and that would be through patreon patreon.com slash divine conversations not only is patreon a great way to help support the channel and work and the work that i do here but it's also a great way to get extra content with me throughout the month and to get a either 10 percent a 20 percent uh, discount or ten dollars off your reading altogether with the top tier now there are only five spaces available of that that top tier and that's $55 a month whereas a normal 30 minute freestyle reading or I'm sorry 30 minute uh, live reading live session or a recorded freestyle reading with me is $65 right but with that tier it's only 55 and you get all of the content that is on patreon already and all the new content to come for as long as you are a member. So if you're interested in that, it's a pretty good deal. Check it out. Um, but there are only five spaces available for that. And I believe two of them are taken already. So if you're interested, check that out. Patreon.com slash Divine Conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. Okay, Scorpio. Oh, all right. Someone's pissed off. I'm going to give this one more shuffle for you. But somebody's pissed off, Scorpio. And they're trying to be secretive about it. They're trying to hide their anger. Now, keep in mind, Scorpio, that as we have now crossed into the month of November um, of 2022, Mars, traditionally your ruling planet, is now retrograde. Someone is deeply pissed off. Deeply, deeply pissed off. And... The feeling that I'm getting from this Scorpio is that, um, wow, okay. I'm hearing they have a right to be this angry, but it is because of their own doing. They have worked themselves into a tizzy. It's because of their own actions, their own drama. Wow, their own flair for the underworld that has caused this? What does that mean? I just saw 333 on the counter, okay? Um, I, don't, I don't even want to channel. I just want to I, I get to the cards here. So, someone has created their own circumstances. It is of their own doing. And yes, they have a right to be pissed off, but I feel like the main thing that I was picking up on there, Scorpio, is that... They're really just pissed off with themselves for letting something get to this state, letting something get to this level. It could very well be also, Scorpio, that maybe this is you or whomever, but um, there are certain people around them that are closest to them, closest to connected to them, that are actually quite aggravated with this as well because they see how this situation has developed and they know who the real culprit is here. Yikes. Okay, let's go. what's going on for Scorpio? What message do we have for Scorpio at this time? Please, Spirit. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's going on for Scorpio? We have the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a family situation. This could be a money situation. This could be a living situation. We've got the... Oh, boy. We've got the Queen of Wands. And then we've got Justice. Spirit says one more for Scorpio. What's going on for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Oh, okay. This is a lot of cards. Ten of Pentacles, 
Queen of Wands, Justice, the Tower, and the Ace of Cups. Overall energy is the Four of Wands. Um, there is clearly a victor here. Clearly. And that victor is this Queen of Wands. Who may be seen as, may have been depicted as, may very well be a witch. A heathen. I'm also hearing tom tomfoolery. This could be a rival situation between someone who is very magically inclined, very spiritually inclined, versus someone who is very religiously inclined. But it seems that whomever is embodying this Queen of Wands energy, and with that Queen of with this Queen of Wands, I'm hearing natural beauty, natural abundance, natural ability to manifest. This person is winning out somehow. Somehow, this person is winning out. And what I'm feeling for this, Scorpio, is that um, the universe is helping them through it. It's like this person, they're, 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 there's a level of natural ability, survival instinct even, and maybe even a form of leadership that this person embodies. Um, and there's no real other way to explain it other than it's just... It, it, it naturally comes to them because they are naturally standing in their truth, their power, their empowerment, their, their sense of abundance, their level of, they're, they're, they're standing in, they're, they're presenting themselves as who they are. You know, they're, they're just being themselves. And whomever is in opposition with this person thinks that there's some sort of witchcraft or, uh, and quite frankly, and the feeling, <laughs> the feeling that I'm getting from this Queen of Wands is like, you can call it whatever you want. You want to call it witchcraft? Okay, it's witchcraft. I have, no, I have no problem with that. Because quite frankly, there's nothing wrong with that. Call it what you want. I don't care, says this Queen of Wands. The fact of the matter is, homegirl or homeboy, whomever it is, they ain't doing nothing wrong. And that's why we have justice and the tower but then also to the Ace of Cups. And what I'm getting from the Ace of Cups here, Scorpio, is that um, somebody is learning a, le a lesson in love and compassion and acceptance. And maybe even acceptance for who they or whom they truly are. Because it may resemble something like this Queen of Wands energy and it may be a situation in which that's something that they rejected about themselves decades ago, eons ago, you could say. And now homeboy or homegirl is coming up in here exuding that exact same energy and in a very unapologetic way, and it's triggering someone else. Yikes. <laughs> now we also do have the 10 of pentacles here. Um, which to me is, 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 is speaking to some sort of a family situation a family environment maybe, but also the Ten of Pentacles is representing a completion of a situation and or long-standing circumstance, or maybe even a long-standing conflict. Often the Ten of Pentacles, for me as a reader at least, the Ten of Pentacles represents some sort of physical situation or circumstance coming to a completion. It could also represent that moment where you graduate. Let's say um, you graduate from a course or you graduate from uh, university or like high school or something like, you know, something like that a moment in which the situation is completed and then maybe depending on what the situation is you at this point you would get your diploma and move on with your life from here i just feel like this ten of pentacles here represents a level of uh the situation coming to a close which is also reflected in justice and the tower now, overall energy here for you, Scorpio, is the Four of Wands. Again, this is speaking to some level of a living situation here. And I feel like at this point, there is going to be some level of a happy home. Or if not necessarily happy, then just a, balance, a balanced situation. A situation in which... Even though is even though somebody's pissed off and they are they're over there griping, grumbling and griping, and they're probably gonna be pissed off for a uh, a while, if not an extended period of time, it feels like there is a level of peace 
being brought to this situation now, or at least being able to be cultivated here in some way. Yeah, peace and healing. Okay, underneath the four of wands is the ooh, underneath the four of wands is the star and the wheel of fortune. And what I'm getting with the wheel of fortune, Scorpio, is that whomever may have been blocked in some way, which probably is this queen of wands, whomever had been stuck in a standstill, I feel like your energies are going to start flowing again, or this person's energies is going to start flowing again. There's, and there's nothing you can do to stop this, is what I'm hearing, because the universe has already made its verdict. Energetically speaking, even though there may be certain things that are visible in the physical world, energetically speaking, whatever this situation has been, it's over and done with, all right? And you can't go backwards from here. I want to talk about this tower energy. 11-11 on the counter. Clarify the tower, please, for Scorpio. What happened? What's this tower moment? The fool. First thing I get with that, y'all, is someone was foolish. Foolishly trying to manipulate this Queen of Wands and their energy. Okay, first thing we have clarifying the tower is the fool. <sighs> the tower, please, for Scorpio. judgment <laughs> okay wait 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 clarify <laughs> clarify the tower for scorpio please Ooh, the three of pentacles but then the eight of wands reversed this may have been a group effort and the ten of swords this ooh, oh man this may not be ending very well for whomever was involved here. This was a group effort. This was a team effort. Three of pentacles. Either it, within this environment, there were people that were of like mind who were coming together in terms of a common goal and they were working towards this, or this person who was spearheading this what I want to call a smear campaign, to be honest, um, found other individuals, again, like-minded individuals, to work on this with them. But those other individuals didn't have to be anywhere near involved with the situation other than this one person bringing them in to cultivate the energies to make their efforts that much stronger or that much more effective. Turns out it wasn't effective. Eight of Wands is reversed. Someone may even be stripped of their powers because of this. Because of this disrespectful energy. Either stripped of their powers or maybe even stripped of their affluence, their once squeaky clean reputation maybe. <sighs> We're clarifying the tower here, Scorpio. And just to recap, we have the fool which feels like a very foolish energy. We have the Fool, Judgment, Three of Pentacles, but then the Eight of Wands reversed. What I'm also hearing with this, there is no going back from here. Someone may have permanently damaged their reputation and or their abilities to manifest. But that's karma for you, is what I'm hearing. This is interesting because what I also just heard was that this, these abilities, these powers that they've been granted, that has been granted to someone were used in an inappropriate way, in an inappropriate manner, or at least this just backfired. And now they're taking a hit. I want to clear, oh, and then also overall energy is the 10 of swords. And I want to say someone's reputation has been damaged here. I want to talk about justice next. Clarify justice for Scorpio, please.
the Knight of Swords. I'm hearing an effort to take someone, this person down, the Ace of Wands. Clarifying justice. That's enough. And then the Wheel of Fortune. Overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like somebody's fortune was trying to be robbed or someone was trying to rob someone's fortune from them. Someone was trying to uh, rid them of all of their money. Someone may have been jealous of someone else's prowess and or power and or maybe even financial status and was like, you don't deserve to have that. I'm taking that from you. This is someone that was blinded by some sort of rage or anger or maybe some sort of egotism. Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Uh, Knight of Swords is often, very often, a shoot first, ask questions later. And the feeling that I'm getting from this Knight of Swords and Ace of Wands energy is that something fired this person up and they, they, they started seeing red and that's all they've seen up until now. Nothing could have stopped them from this crusade other than the universe saying, slow your roll, buddy. Because you don't actually know who this person is or what it is they're capable of or what it is they're even doing. You have absolutely no idea. But then the universe is also saying, you know what? We're going to let you go ahead and do this. Because ultimately, I mean, there's nothing we can do to, tell, to stop you. You do have free will. But... You'll see in due course, Wheel of Fortune and the Star and the Four of Wands. Back to all of that. Interesting. Now, the next point of focus that I have here is the Ace of Cups. Because ultimately, you know, the universe is benevolent, okay? The universe is full of love. And ultimately what's happening here is someone is being, is in the process or as a result of this, either one of the part, I feel like both parties, all who are involved here, all parties really, are in the throes of learning a lesson in terms of love and compassion. Acceptance for your fellow man, regardless as to how you may or may not align with each other. Regardless as to how you may or may not share the share what the same beliefs or understandings uh, regardless as to how you may misalign with each other regardless to your regardless of your differences with each other everybody here all parties involved even if there are some extra third parties involved that were brought in to team up and against someone team members Everybody is learning a lesson in compassion here. Let's clarify this Ace of Cups, please. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Scorpio. You have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. And you know what this is saying to me? What this is saying to me is the Queen of Swords is kind of like cracking a whip and is saying, stop focusing on what someone else is doing and focus on your own work. Focus on your own path in life. Focus on what it is you are trying to learn and or achieve here. Stop. I'm literally, I'm literally seeing some sort of like um, school teacher slacking, slapping someone, like slapping a kid on the, uh, s s sla <laughs> you know, slapping someone's knuckles and saying, eyes on your own paper, eyes on your own page. What are you doing looking over at them? They have nothing to do with you. Focus on your own shit. I want to take this card too. The star. And part of what I'm getting here with this is that somebody was triggered or has been triggered by someone else's prowess, spiritually, magically, 
I don't know, confident, whatever. Someone else was triggered by somebody, somebody is triggered by someone else's ability to do the things that they have always wanted to do in their lives, but for some reason, either were never able to, or maybe quite frankly, I'm okay, I am hearing we're not capable of, or could very well be, they didn't allow themselves to. And then homeboy or homegirl chick comes through doing nothing but just spewing this energy everywhere. Like unapologetically and, uneff and, and, and effortlessly. And it triggered the other person. And because of that, the other person tried to take this person down. Ooh. Ten of swords. Back to the ten of swords as the overall energy. Eyes on your own work. Don't focus on them because they have nothing to do with you. You are your own savior. You are your own critic. You are your own appointee, leader, guide. I don't know. I don't know. Take it as it resonates, guys. Okay. With that said, let's clarify this Queen of Wands then. Clarify the Queen of Wands, please. First card is the Five of Pentacles. The energy of the Queen of Wands is what they're saying, okay? Ne Ooh. Next, we have the Sun in Reverse. Whoa. And that, and the Sun, in, the sun which came out reversed fell on the row that is the tower, which I will remind you, the tower was clarified by the fool, judgment, the three of pentacles and the eight of wands reversed. Clarifying the queen of wands, please. Damn, and the chariot, holy shit. And then we're back to the wheel of fortune again. So this really isn't even about this individual that is embodying this Queen of Wands energy. It's about the energy that this individual is embodying. And the appearance of this individual who is represented as the Queen of Wands, but again, it's not about the person, it's about the energy that they embody. This person or the, this person has shown someone how inadequate they are, which Technically, quite frankly, they're not inadequate. They're per perfectly capable of this too. But of course, in their natural own, own natural way. But it kind of showed them just by, just by moving forward in their own way, in their own alignment, it, it, sh it, sh it, it, it puts somebody's insecurities right on blast. Five of Pentacles, the Sun in Reverse, and the Chariot. All clarifying this Queen of Wands energy. Yikes. Yikes. Mars retrograde may end up being, for whomever this person is, especially if they are the Scorpio here, Mars retrograde may really be a pretty difficult time for them because what I'm kind of feeling here, what I guess I feel I can safe in predicting for whomever, for somebody at least, their negative actions, the, 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 the negative actions that they have taken towards someone else are going to come screaming back at them in some way. Yikes. Closing message here for Scorpio, please. Closing message for Scorpio. The King of Cups. There you are, Scorpio. Closing message for Scorpio. I mean, ultimately, yeah. That's all there is to it. Overall energy is strength. Ultimately, this is a level of, uh, this is a lesson in compassion. This is a lesson in being emotionally stable, secure and grounded in the self and not allowing anyone else's appearance or anyone else's bullshit or anyone else's life to affect yours. 
and keeping that ego in check. Ooh, this is an extremely humbling moment. This is an egoic death type of situation because then even underneath strength, you've got the four of swords and then you're right back to the 10 of swords and temperance. This is good. This is very good. Ultimately, even though this is a situation rife with drama, right? This is quite juicy, honey. Really, underneath it all, this is just a situation in which someone, quite frankly, I want to say, is, was destined to go through in order for them to learn this lesson of compassion, self-love, and keeping that ego in check. Reining that ego in. This person may have a overly, a, a massively, a, a massively over inflated ego. I'm literally seeing it as like a tumor or a growth or a hemorrhoid or some sort of hemorrhage or just like I'm seeing something bulging out of someone. Yeah, a hemorrhoid. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. There you have it, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and if you haven't done so already. Also, if you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email, let me know you're interested, and I'll be more than pleased as punch to get you all hooked up. And please make sure to check out Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below for extra content with me throughout the month to definitely help support the channel here and to potentially even get a discount on your personal readings. With that said, Scorpio, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Beauty must. Mm -hmm.